we can think about investing, form an opinion, and draw logical conclusions. And all of this is important and will take you further. But we can also do something else. We can look at the facts about investing, stocks, interest rates and investor behavior. These represent the basis for everything else and are not manipulated by subjective opinions. So therefore we present 10 facts about investing that you need to know. Fact number one overestimation of interest rate investments. Savers overestimate the return on interest investments, fixed term deposits, overnight deposits and savings accounts by around three times too high. Investors expected interest on the fixed term deposit account of 2.13% in mid 2014, while in reality it was only 0.61% on average. They estimated the interest rate on the money account at 1.78%, with a real average of 0.66%. They estimated the savings book at 0.74%, while in reality it only yielded 0.2% interest per year. Fact number 2 Purchasing power has been falling for 50 years. The real interest rate interest deducted by inflation, price increases, averaged minus 0.16% per year from 1968 to 2016. That means, interest savers have not only lost purchasing power today, but for almost 50 years on average. Even when interest rates were higher, inflation that was too high often nipped potential returns to the bud. In only about one-third of all months during this period, the real interest rate in Germany was above 0%. Fact number 3 Lack of financial literacy. In Germany, at 53%, most people across Europe admit that they have no financial education. Expressed in absolute numbers, 35 million German adults come out as financially illiterate. In addition to this self-reflective assessment, which of course can be distorted, the Ing Di Ba asked 11,000 people a total of five questions on the topics of interest, inflation, bonds, mortgage lending and the lottery. The result? Only 30% were able to answer four out of five questions correctly. Fact number four Hardly any shareholders. The direct shareholder quota in Germany is only 6%, as of 2016. This roughly corresponds to the long-term average in Germany since 1992. In Austria, it is also at a similarly low level at around 7%. For comparison, in the Netherlands the direct shareholder quota is 30%, in Japan 28%, in the USA 25%, in Switzerland 20%, in Sweden 19%. Fact number 5 DAX development is underestimated. Only around 10% of investors were able to correctly state the DAX development since mid-2009 plus 100%, at the end of 2014. 34% had no idea and the remaining 56% underestimated the development of the DAX, almost one-tenth even thought that the DAX would have fallen during this period. Incidentally, the DAX is still just about tripling from its mid-2009 level. Fact number 6 Lack of stock knowledge. 70% of people do not know that there is another source of return on stocks in addition to appreciation in value. The dividend equals profit distributions. Most companies pay these and thus ensure returns even with a constant share price and are one of the three central reasons why the stock markets rise in the long term. Fact number 7 Return on Stocks. The DAX has risen by an average of around 8% per year over the past 50 years, without any stock selection and despite all the crises and crashes. The US stock index S&P 500 has risen an average of about 10% per year since 1900. The MSCI World, which tracks the performance of 1,600 stocks from 23 industrialized nations, has increased roughly 21-fold since its inception from the end of 1969 to the end of 2017. Fact number 8 Long-Term Investment Horizon Regardless of when you had invested in the DAX, German share index, since 1965, you would always have been in profit after 13 years at the latest. With an investment horizon of 14 years or more, you would have always been in profit in the American S&P 500 index since 1950. From an investment period of at least 7 years, the probability of a profit was 91%. Fact number 9 Risk Reward Ratio If you invested in the DAX for 5 years, you would never have lost more than an average of 10% per year. The average profit in these over 65 possible 5-year periods was plus 48%.
Fact number 10 More financial education. 78% of Germans want financial education in school, but only 18% think they have received it. You see one thing very clearly. Most people have prejudices from the media, their parents or colleagues without having questioned them. Because the facts often speak a clear and completely different, more optimistic language. Most people want to gain further financial education, but do not get access to it in their environment or at school. It is time to do something about it.